let me explain what it's doing. It's creating a new economy. And as you know, there's a lot of people who've made a lot of money on Bitcoin. I'm not talking about the people that over the last uh, month or two, I'm talking about the people who have it at $25 or $1,000 and they've had it for seven years. They have a massive amount of wealth sitting there. And if they liquidate, well, they got to pay Uncle Sam or... Welcome back to TMZ Live, and there is a lot, a lot of money to be followed um, when it comes to something called NFTs, uh, non-fungible tokens. You may have heard the phrase uh, lately in the last month or so because it is just a, an incredible craze where people are paying, I think I've seen one of these go for like $70 million, and really all you're buying is a code and that's what you're getting. Now, it's what's attached to that code that makes the code so valuable. Um, you've seen all people, we've seen athletes get into this. Rob Gronkowski has one. We've seen artists, musicians, bands are releasing albums on NFT. So, like I said, a lot of money to be followed here. And that's when we bring in our guy, Damon John from Shark Tank, is gonna help us follow the money and explain how this works and is it worth your money? Uh, Damon, welcome back to TMZ Live. How you doing, hey, Damon. man? Thank you for having me. Listen, it's so confusing that you call it non-fungible tokens, I believe, and I've, I've been told it is uh, network file transfers. So it, it's all over the place in, from the definition <laughs> to, to how you're gonna make money, but we're gonna try to unpack this thing here. Okay, so let's unpack. Um, first of all, I wanna understand the value of this right now. If I wanna buy uh, a painting, um, I'm holding this painting, I'm putting this painting on my wall. What's the point of buying something digital? This is basically like uh, a digital version of sports cards, but it's a digital asset. And because it's backed and put on the server or where you get it from is backed by blockchain, you know where it comes from, originates, and you can always find the owner. There's probably a thousand or two thousand Picassos out there, but really only a hundred of them are real. So what this asset is, is something that no matter where you are, what you are, you can check it out and understand what it is digitally. That's kind of like buying the skins on Fortnite. Um, now, can you produce it and show it in your home? I feel the same way. If I have a Picasso, I want it in my home. So when somebody comes in and goes, ah, Damon's full of crap. Holy cow, <laughs> is that a Picasso? Right. You know, it's kind of it's kind of throwing you think on the table, of course, right? If somebody buys an asset, let's say they, you know, they have the exclusive right to it, well, then they could license it to anybody who wants to use it for another purpose. And I can understand why somebody would do that, because then they can license out the valuable asset they've bought and make money off of that asset. But if it's just to say, well, I own the Chanel thing that's in my phone and I'm going to show it to everybody in the world, Maybe I'm just an old dog, but I don't understand. <laughs> I know this is a thing now, and I want to understand why it's a thing. I'm having a little bit of problems having, understanding why somebody would pay $70 million for a piece of art, which happened, um, when it's just in my phone. I don't quite get it. Well, it's creating a brand new economy, but let's say if you did have a piece, let's say you had Paul Rivera's gun and it was just in your home and you decided that's only going to be one of those pieces, I would assume, and you then sell it. It's a part of history. If you have a, a FUBU or NFL or somebody's part of history, it is something that is meaningful to you and there's only going to be one of it and you can you you can authenticate or, uh, you know, know the authenticity of it due to the fact that it's on blockchain. But let me explain what it's doing. It's creating a new economy. And as you know, there's a lot of people who've made a lot of money on Bitcoin. I'm not talking about the people that over the last uh, month or two, I'm talking about the people who have it at $25 or $1,000 and they've had it for seven years. They have a massive amount of wealth sitting there. And if they liquidate, well, they got to pay Uncle Sam or they can kind of, you know, I guess today somebody would call it a 1031 exchange. They can go and purchase something that is a, a asset and have this, uh, you know, accumulate over time. Now we still are in a bubble. So this is just like buying sports cards. Remember, uh, sports cards are super hot right now, but for 10 years, they've been dead. You used to buy a pack of them, and you know what? You got some crappy bubble gum, and only one out of 20 was worth anything, and maybe that was $5, and now it's worth $70,000. This is exactly what, what we're doing with uh, NFTs. Damon, if you're an artist, and you paint something really awesome, and then I buy it from you, 
um, and I buy it digitally, but you have the actual art. Do you, can you do nothing with that art? Do you still have the right to that art, even though I've got it digitally? Do you still have the right physically? You know, that's a really good question because then that goes into other parts of ownership because what can happen is you can also see a, a painting and if you take a picture of that painting and sell you taking a picture of that painting and really owned by the photographer. A lot of those things are really questionable and we're going to start seeing how that unfolds. But, you know, uh, going back to what you were saying about putting in your phone, what you can often do is take an image of your NFT and then frame it and then people say, what is that? Well, that's my NFT. And by the way, that's worth two or five million dollars. This is so interesting. I love this one. <laughs> Me too. Damon, this is yeah. great. Listen, a lot of the groundbreaking videos that you put out uh, prior to something really happening, you were the first on it. You could be putting out a lot of NFTs of uh, people that may no longer be around here with us anymore, or people that are super, super famous, and you put out the first video of them. Oh. That's an NFT. Oh, Harvey. Mm. You know, I know you're thinking the same thing. I <laughs> yep. okay. Damon, we love this. We love this, Damon. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Hey, you, are you subscribed to make sure that you see all these videos with free advice, chats, and business experts, and content that will motivate and inspire you? If not, come on, hit the subscribe button and commit. Below is your chance to level up and learn every single week. I'll see you in there.